ham treats for dogs. We make treats for all types of dogs, like small little people like this, like Junebug, or even our big meaty girls, like Harper. However, since our store is closed, we have to figure out a way to package and ship our treats out to all our customers. So this video is gonna show you how to take your product and try to design a box to fit it in. So the first thing I'll need to do is I'll have to take my product and measure the height, the length, and the width to figure out the dimensions of my box. So you're going to need a ruler, mine's super long, you can use inches or centimeter side, wherever you want. You'll need some paper and something to write with. All right, so now that you have your dimensions, you want to start designing the package that you'll put your product in. Now, when you look at your dimensions, for the dimensions of your box, they should be a little bit bigger than your product dimensions. So for example, if your length is four inches, you should probably make the length of your package a little bit more than four inches, like four and a half or even five. So you want to increase all your dimensions so that your package can actually fit. But if you increase them too much, then you'll get a package that when your product's in there shakes around and you might also be wasting material. So your choices for your designs could be a rectangular prism, a triangular prism, or a square pyramid. And you'll have to choose whatever one you prefer or what makes most sense for your product. I'll show you what I go with now. All right, so my dimensions are four inches, four inches and five and three fourths, which is 5.75. So I know that I'm going to have to make my dimensions a little bit bigger. So I'm going to bump them up an inch. So my, for my package, I'm going to write my length is 5 inches. My width is 5 inches. And my height, I'm just going to put that up to 7 inches. So now I have to design my project. Now I have to decide what shape I want. In this case, I think a rectangular prism makes the most sense because my product it's like a cylinder. I think a rectangular prism makes the most sense for putting this inside of it. So I'm gonna draw, draw a 3D version of a rectangular prism and I can't use my real dimensions on this paper because I'll run out of room. So instead of five inches, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna cut everything in half. So I'm gonna draw a, a line that's two and a half inches. So first I'm gonna draw my front of my box. So I'm gonna go to two and a half inches, okay? And I'll just lab label this five inches though, so that I know that this is just kind of a uh, design of my box, not the actual size. And my height is seven inches, so I'll just cut that in half and make it 3.5. I'll draw a line going straight up 3.5 inches. So I need to go to about here. All right, and then you just label that, whatever your dimensions are. In my case, it's seven inches. And then you just finish it off. It's okay if you don't use a ruler for the design. It's just more important when you actually draw your net. So this is my front. Okay, now, you want to draw the back and to show that it's 3D, you want to have it slightly offset. So for example, if I'm going to draw the back and I want to start with this corner, I'm going to start it right in the middle of my front and I'll move it down like right around here. So then my length again, which is two and a half inches. And my height which is seven in the actual design. Um, but for this, I'm using three and a half because it's half of seven. Okay, and then you just finish it off. Okay, 
Okay. So right now you'll have your front and this is your back. And to show it's 3D, you just take corner to corner and connect them. So there to there, there to there, here, there. So it's like left corner to left corner. And this is bottom left corner to bottom left corner. And there you can see is your 3D design. Now the only thing I'm missing here is my width, which I can measure it right here. And that my width is five inches. So you have your front, your back, this is your bottom. If you can see that, you have two sides here and here, and then the top, okay? You might wanna think, make a little more sense if I label this back so you can tell the difference. So next what we'll have to do is show what a net of this would be. Now I'll show you some pictures of a net of a rectangular prism, if you choose that, or a triangular prism, and a square pyramid. Since I am doing a rectangular prism, I'll show you how to draw the rectangular prism net next. All right, so I took some old cereal boxes, you can see, and I just flipped them inside out and cut them up. And this is what I'm gonna use for my net. So a net is when you unfold a 3D object. So I'm gonna draw it so it's a 2D object. So starting with the front, So we have our rectangular prism net. We have our front and our back, our bottom and two sides. And I put my top over here because that's where I had more room. So I'm gonna cut this out and fold it up and we'll see how it turns out. All right, drum roll. Here is my package. All right, so uh, one th uh, recommendation I would do, I put tape in the middle or the inside of it. That kind of keeps the edges held together. Some people also just add extra cardboard as tabs, put them in there. And also what I did is uh, for my top, I left a little bit extra and I folded it over so it kind of creates a latch. All right, so, but of course the big idea is to make sure your product can fit inside. So here we have our dog treats. All right, moment of truth, let's see if it fits inside. And there we go. Now. I can close this and tape it shut. Now, mine rattles around a little bit. I mean, maybe a little bit too big. You can see inside. Maybe I went a little too high with my height. But that's okay too, because you, that means you can add stuff in there. Like I have this bubble wrap that I could cut up and put it in there as well to make it more secure. All right, so good luck building your package. Hopefully it works out for you. Just realized I should probably cover all these cereal things or people are gonna think I'm selling cereal and not dog treats. See you next time.